What's going on, guys? Welcome to Locked In. What episode is this, Earl? Five. Five. All right, I do this every time. We just kind of start this and don't plan it. So, yeah. Episode five, Locked In. Um, just get the elephant out of the room, man. Let's get, let's get the elephant in the room. Knocked out. Utopia dropped. Um, you, you guys can go ahead and talk about it, and then I'll – obviously, I'm the bigger Travis fan here, so – Logan, you go first. Give us your give us your give us your thoughts and whatever you think. And I thought, I thought it was a great album, man. I thought, is it better than Astral World? Uh, not yet for me, but I think over time it, it could I agree. be. I not think yet for me, the though. more I listen to it, the more it grows on me. I saw the movie. Holy fuck, man! It's cool. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good watch. What man. a fucking experience! I watched it. I watched it before and after listening, and I definitely will say it was definitely meant to be watched before. So. Yeah. If you watch it after the album came out, you probably won't have the same experience I did. I the first time watching it and just hearing the song for like pretty much the first time, pretty sick. But yeah, what did you think? I thought it was good. Uh the first time I listened to it, I, I'm an old man. It came out at eleven. A, uh Apple Music wouldn't load until like eleven thirty or whatever. So I listened to half of it, went to bed, listened to the other half in the morning. I thought it was fine. It was way different than what I was yeah, expecting. That's because like I know you had talked about like, oh, it's going to be like rodeo days and all that. But like, to be honest, I didn't, or it's something, it's something like rodeo, right? Like it was supposed uh, to be. Get Kanye vibes to me, to me, obviously. to me, you, you're probably not even familiar with this, but it, to me, it sounds like Al Farrow. Like, but like the most of his albums. It's my first to exposure that. to Travis Scott was Goosebumps, yeah. Antidote, 3500. Like there's probably a lot of people that were like that. So when Astro World came out, I was like, oh, shit, this is, this no, is yeah. some good stuff. And like the first time I heard Astro World, Loved it. First time I heard Utopia, I was like, well, it's different than the Travis Scott that I'm familiar with, yeah. but like, it's refreshing. It's good. Though. I mean, it's almost like Kanye's like Yeezus album when that came out. It was yeah, like, it's it's way different. So the more I listen to Utopia, the more it's growing on me. But for right, as of right now, it doesn't beat Astro yeah. World, but that could change in six months. Who knows? And I know there's a lot of people that like to be different. I know we're already going to get a ton of comments. It was mid, it was mid, it was mid. Hey, man, music's subjective, so you guys can all like what you like. It's okay. We don't have to all agree on everything. It's all good. But in my opinion, the Astral era will never be recreated, and that's okay. You know what I mean? We don't have to keep comparing it. To, we don't have to compare Utopia to Astral World. It can be two totally different things. You know what I mean? It I think, literally was I think, an era. No, I like, know. Dude, was... I have no idea, man. Like, literally, the best years of my life were lived in that era. But, like... You, it's it's really hard for people because they're not just comparing the albums, they're comparing the eras. Utopia just started, it just dropped. Yeah. And everyone just came off this five year high of Astro World. I mean, literally, like I mean, you guys are gonna go crazy then in the comments. I know there's gonna be some old heads who are like, what the hell? It's one of the best albums of all time, man. It is one of the best hip hop albums of all time. Not even just the album, just everything that came along with it. I mean, you you cannot deny the, the, branding, the cultural the impact it had. You cannot that. deny that. I don't care what. I mean, anyone can say what they want. Anyone can get mad. Any. I know, I know there's gonna be some. No way. He just. Said, yeah, I did. Yeah. Honestly, the the impact it has had on music, culture, everything. It's it's insane. You can't deny it. Um. So I know. Obviously, a lot of people are gonna be very harsh on Utopia because. You're trying to compare it to Astral World, and it's just it's a completely different there's, sound. And there's it's no there's, thing. there's no way of comparing the two, because again, like I just said, maybe maybe in five years we can compare the two. You know what I mean? Now that once Utopia has been out for five years and it can really marinate with everybody, and it's had its own era, because I think Travis is going to have some crazy stuff planned. He already does. Um, the Egypt tour obviously got can or event obviously got canceled, but he's already rescheduling new ones. He's going to Circus Maximus in Italy. Um, that's going to be the first one. I think there's going to be some really cool stuff with it. Um, we're already on drop four or drop three of his merch with Utopia. So I think it still has a long road to go. I think there's going to be some crazy stuff with it. You know, Travis was isn't going to disappoint with his marketing, right? Yeah. Um, but like, let's be real. I get it. It's not Astro World. It doesn't need to be though, right? Like I, did, I didn't want an Astro World 2.0. I didn't want that. I feel like that's what I wanted out of it, like an Astro World 2.0. But then it would be like, oh, this is good. But like it's... It's a little refreshing Bro, to get something people are different. People so haters sure. on Travis. No matter what he would have put out, if it was Astro World 2.0, everyone would be like, "This is the same shit as Astro World." We waited five years for another Astro World. Like, there's nothing you can't please everybody. He can't please everybody. Everyone would. The people are gonna dog on it no matter what. So this dude, he comes out with something different, something totally crazy and different, and obviously a lot different than Astro World. And it, people are saying, "Bro, Astro World is so much better." 
you can't compare the two. It, it, it's just it's yeah. two totally different sounds, two totally different productions. It's just it's just it's just a whole other album. Um, I loved it. I'm sure, you guys saw that. <laughs> that coming. was going to be the answer, regardless. No way. It really wasn't, man. I, I swear to God. And there's song. <laughs> we'll get into it in a second. But there's songs I don't like on the album. Don't get me wrong. But I liked it. I, I really liked it. I just admit it. It's not better than Astro World, and and that just might be because again. In my head, Astral World has such a time. big impact on my life, and oh, like, yeah. it's just it's such it was such a cool era we lived through, and I don't think it'll ever be recreated by anybody, not even Travis. You can't recreate that. Yeah, I mean, the, if you think about like the huge festivals, I thought like the branding and the merch that with, with yeah. Astral World was fantastic. That's when the, the shoes tours. started to drop. I remember like the first time he went on tour with Astro World, he was wearing the the ones, the Travis One highs, and everyone was like oh, nuts, dude. Everyone was going nuts, crazy this and that, and he was giving away to fans in the in the pit and stuff so it'll it'll get i'm not saying it'll beat astro world for a lot oh, of yeah. people and but. it doesn't ever have to be astro world they can be they can be there too it can, that's what i'm trying to say here like it can be utopia and astro world can be separate it doesn't have to be like oh this isn't as good as astro world okay like it doesn't need to be it can be good without having to yeah. be compared to astro world is my, is my whole point here um, and if you keep listening to the album thinking, oh, this is, this is an astral, this isn't as good. You're never going to like the album because you're like trying to dwell on the past. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Do you mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? No, I, I do you see what I'm saying? I get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm passionate about this. I, I love mean, music, yeah, man. We're talking I, I love the, music. It's, it's a, it's a great album, man. It's going to be remembered for years to come. It's a great album. Which? It, it is. Astro Utopia? Utopia, both. Utopia. Uh, I think. But Utopia do you see what I'm great. saying? Yeah, like yeah. a lot of people are going into it like wanting to hear another Astro World and they're getting mad and yeah. thinking it's bad yeah, because yeah, it yeah. doesn't sound anything like that. They were looking for Sicko Mode 2.0. Yeah. and Which we kind of got, like honestly. Meltdown, Meltdown's close. It's the same formula. Even yeah. had the same beat switch and everything. Yeah. But, yeah. As y'all can tell, I'm passionate about this, man. I, lo I, so. lo I love the music. I, I love music, though, like in general. I love music. Um, so. But, yeah. I mean, I, 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 it's just... It's, <laughs> it's definitely different. It's different. Yeah. It's cool, but it's some, refreshing. Uh, it's a good sound. Some big Kanye influence on that. What do you? Yeah, heavy what's your take Kanye on that? And that's another it. thing that's really annoying me is I keep seeing that. Oh, he copied Kanye, bro. Do you guys not realize how much? Well, a lot of people are saying he copied Yeezus, but do you guys not realize like how it. much? Huh? I love it. I like it too. I love the I, and yeah, I'm not denying it. I know it has Yeezus influence, but I don't think anyone realizes how much of a part Travis played in the creation of Yeezus too. Like he he was heavy on the production of that album, like a lot of people don't know that, but they're just thinking, oh, this sounds just like Jesus. Travis created Jesus with Kanye, man. Like he was a big part of that album too. Well, and artists are always sampling each other's music. Yeah. Like through the history of rap, people are <laughs> taking different like disco beats or and techno I don't, beats and kind of warping them a little bit to put them into something fresh. And so. I don't consider that even copying. To me, that's more of paying homage to something great. You yeah, know what homage I mean? like, or using them as an influence for yeah. something you're creating. Yeah, well, like Logan said, I mean, yeah. And I think it was smart of him not to put Kanye on the album, even though I would have liked to have him on there. But, I mean, Kanye is on the album. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. there. And he's definitely got you know what yeah, I mean? his hand. Yeah. He's there, yeah. for sure. I agree. He's, But I think it was smart of him not to put him on there. I mean, it makes sense. But also, it was... No Jack Boys on the album. No Jack Boys on the what, album. What do we think about that? That is crazy. What are our thoughts on that? I'm okay with it. I didn't like the Jack Boys album. So my, my thought is, is he going to drop Jack a Boys deluxe two? album, like another Jack Boys yeah. album? I could see another Jack Boys album coming out that because remember there was rumor there was rumors crazy. whenever the first one came out that we were gonna get three packs, three different Jack Boys albums. Well, aren't we supposed to get like a dystopia thing as well? I don't think that's happening. Okay, I don't think that's happening anymore. And wouldn't dystopia come before utopia, if that was the case? You're the Travis guy. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, well, it's all a theory, right? I don't know, um, but I don't know. I'd say, I'd say the no Jack Boys on there was good. You know, um, he doesn't need it. Don would have gone crazy on that. Don shit. would have gone crazy. Don, I can Don live. Don would have gone crazy. On I can. Pro I can promise you. I can live without Sheck though. I can live without yeah, Sheck. Yeah. And I, I, well, even Fane though his, was? even though on Fiend it was really good. Did you hear? Did you? Did you? Did you hear in the movie? In the movie, what, what Sheck's you? on Fiend. Oh yeah, they cut that part out. Yeah, yeah that's he right. cut that yeah. out. So, that. um, a lot of people like that verse. A lot of people are really upset. That's not on the I actual can live album. Without it, honestly. Me too. It's whatever. Um, I, I'm a lot of people are like really upset about it. I'm like, I'm really not. It was, it was good. It was, it was not good. bad, but I'm not like, oh my God, why didn't they put check on it? But I could definitely live without Sofago on the album. I, I don't even mind Fago, but he just doesn't fit the album. The vibe. Don, I am very surprised at. 
he would have gone. Travis crazy. loves Don, man, and I am surprised he is not on that because he played a very big part in Natural World. Can't say is a huge song on there, so um, I don't know. I'm surprised he was. I'm really surprised. Unless there's a deluxe edition coming out with another four <coughs> or five songs. I wouldn't I'd be, be surprised. surprised if he made another Jack Boys album. Well, what's after Utopia? Do we wait another five years? I don't think so. I think the only reason we waited Hopefully five years not. is because of the Astro Fest shit. I really hope you're right, man. I know I'm right. We're not waiting five years again. I that, hope so. I think clip I honestly this. think clip this right now. No, I seriously no. You can clip it. I, I think <laughs> I think the rollout had begun during that festival because that's when he started. That that merch has things that say Utopia on them, and there was actually tees. I think the K-pop song had been out for had been made for a long time because there was tees at that festival that was called the Lollipop Tea. Like there was this, this stuff yeah, has been right. like leaked for a while. So well, you have I, a Utopia hoodie over there that came yeah, that out came a out while back, twenty twenty one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When this first that festival, I think was going to be the start of the rollout, but obviously it got delayed two years. Um, I think it would have came out two years earlier if that, if that didn't happen. But who knows? We didn't even there was a, that was a two day event and we didn't even get to see day two. So maybe I think he was going to announce something big day two, and he had just sure. dropped those two songs, Mafia and Escape Plan, that could have been like the kind of like the lead singles into the album, which I wouldn't. I honestly think so too. But I think the weight made the album better. I bet you we would have gotten an entirely different album if it would have came out two years ago. Like the sound would have just been totally different. It would have been sort of similar to Escape Plan and Mafia. Yeah. Kind of like Astroworld songs. I don't know. Which wouldn't have been bad, but not a bad thing. Would you have gotten tired of them? No, nah, because like Travis's production is so crazy and his sound is so crazy that he doesn't really need to like switch up his style you know what i'm saying like cardi i've always said that he needed he needs to like every cardi album has a different sound like self-titled is very like immature i guess you'd say dialit starts to get kind of more like punk i guess and then obviously whole lot of red is very punk but like they're all very different um i don't think travis needs to do that like be super different because the way his sound is is already very different so it doesn't need to get he doesn't need to make like some drastic vocal change or anything you know what yeah. i mean yeah he can get more creative with the production like the beats and the drums and the synths like that'll always be cool but i don't think he needs to switch his style he had to wrap his ass off in utopia he rapped a lot yeah which a lot of people were saying that deep he, voice cardi <laughs> yeah deep voice cardi was dope um but that's what's coming on music I hope so, yeah. yeah like the new album is going to be all like that it's going to be his deep voice. It's probably going to be a lot of like actual rock and guitar. Like it's going to sound pretty crazy, but I'm excited for Cardi's album, man. But uh, yeah, I think um, I think it was a good album. My opinion, album of the year. This is very. This is. I'm, I'm a huge Travis fan, man. But Yachty's album is close to it, man. I really like Yachty's album, and I love Utopia, man. Who wins album of the year? Still, Utopia. in my opinion, still in my opinion, Utopia, Utopia wins, but because Yachty's. He's a way smaller, and he's not going to get the recognition that Travis will. Obviously, is there a but, Cardi B this year that's going to like dethrone Travis <laughs> for that award? I don't think so. I mean, we're sexy red going to come out no with something Stop, and dethrone dude. him. Like that'd be so bad. I think the only way it could really anything could really happen is if for all the dogs is just crazy Drake's album. That's the only way. If it's just nothing but just bangers, that's the only way. But even still, I think. I don't give a shit about the Grammys though. Drake's just corny. Yeah, well, honestly, he shit. kind of is, but I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I think what's helping Drake, what what could help Drake is he's on tour right now, so yeah. hype is really it's high crazy. for him. Yeah. He's going to drop a new album, but I'm hoping that the five year wait for Utopia is finally like okay, we're going to give it to Travis, but you never know. People love Drake. Drake's I mean, Drake's big, and honestly, I think a reason Travis might not win is because of the Astroworld stuff, and they don't want to seem like insensitive to that you know what i mean i really wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of a reason because he's been like a lot of a lot of like media has like really like pushed down on him and like just kind of exposing bad things about him nothing but bad shit he's really a pretty good guy man honestly if you watch his interview and stuff he seems pretty chill i, I don't know i get the satanic stuff but i mean if you really want to get like really like i mean you can find that anywhere you know what i mean like you if you're looking for it you can find it anywhere with any artist you see what i'm saying like, how come nobody says that about Drake and all his things is about six, six, six? You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand. Like, it's just he's from the six. Dude. I know, but like, <laughs> I'm just saying if 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 that 
if you really want to, you can find it anywhere. Is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, like if you really want to dig it out of anybody, you can find it, and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, he's a he's a devil worshiper. Like come on, like. But uh, Travis actually did rap a lot about God in the new album. If you guys actually go read the lyrics on uh, Genius, you'll actually see there's a lot of uh, bars about. Yeah, he, uh, he dissed God Timothy Chalamet as well. He did diss uh, Timothy. <laughs> just throwing dissed at him, dude. Got the Willy not, Wonka factory. Not happy. Not happy that he's with Kylie. What are your What are your thoughts on that? He's with SZA now, and she killed it. She killed it on telekinesis. <laughs> dude, My girl SZA. And so it was well, really good. Speak, transition. Top three favorite songs on Utopia. Matt, you're going last. Okay. Uh, so I really liked Fiend. I liked Modern Jam. And I liked Meltdown. Okay. Okay. So those are my three. I think that's pretty valid. Yeah. Safe. Telekinesis. <laughs> okay. One for me. Scissors part of that. Just like Beautiful. hits different when you're Beautiful. in the car listening to it like max volume. Her part hits different. Um, Fiend's good. Meltdown's really good. Pro I'd probably say Circus Maximus. And then I hate to say it because Matt said it, you know, last week or whatever. Um, my eyes has really grown on me a lot. Matt. The first half is fine. Like, it's good. But that second half when Travis's verse hits is crazy. next level. It's insane. But, but the, the, first half, the first half is like, oh, it's okay. This is, this is fine. But the second half is crazy. A lot of that's, a lot of the lyrics on that song are about Kylie. He says something yeah. about like, Drip, green and, green and yellow from, his, from her eyes. Yeah, you read the lyrics, you'll see. Um, but um, my top three favorites. It's a really good album, man. I will. I'm gonna say my skips real quick. We didn't talk about that. K-pop. I really, really don't understand why that was on the album. It should not have been. And then I really didn't like Topia Twins. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Topia Twins. That's one I consistently skip. I was dunking on K-pop when that first came out because that was like the first single yeah. that came out, and I was like, I was texting Matt. I was like, dude, this is. Trash. And yeah, he's it's, like, it's he's like don't worry, song. it's not going to be on the album. Don't worry, it's not going to be on the album. I didn't think so, man. The track list comes out, it's there. <laughs> but honestly, it's growing on me a little bit. I used to be like instant skip, but now I'm like, okay. I'll I will say the on placement there. on it isn't bad because it's like right after the the love song, the Kid Cudi feature. Yeah. And it's kind of got that like dance hall like mm -hmm. vibe. But um, I will, so I would say the placement where he put it on the album isn't bad because you would have put it like after Hyena and then Modern Shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that would have been really <laughs> weird. But like where he put it on the album isn't terrible. But I would have could have definitely done without K-pop on the album, and then the Topia twins. I really uh, that's one I consistently skip as well. Yeah. But other than that, there's really not any that I like. Oh my god, I can't listen to this. Like, what's the song with Beyonce? Do Resto. That one's fine to me. It's fine. It's a lot fine. of people are dunking like, on I, that one. I skipped that I one too. I really but like that one. Yeah, but it's just that's like a, a good like me. like vibe. You know? Yeah, what I mean? but it just makes you feel some type of way. Makes you feel some type of way for real. Make you feel gets me going. Y'all should. Y'all should have seen. I wish Raul was here that day. Y'all should have seen hey. Matt in the store uh, the day after Utopia dropped. Logan, turn me up. Logan, Logan, turn me up. <laughs> Every five minutes. I was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had your shit out of the camera out for yeah. all this. I got a video of it. It's all good. No, you it's fun, okay. dude. Perfect. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, you got a video of it? Yeah, obviously, of course. Oh yeah, Matt looked like an idiot. Do you want to put it in the? <laughs> no, dude, they, <laughs> they haven't seen that side of me yet. You, you're... <laughs> <laughs> nah, but nah, but uh, my favorite three. Very sleeper call here. Um, right, this is right now. This is definitely gonna change. Like it's yeah. it's changing. But my favorite my favorite three right now, Paracel number three. Love that song, dude. Young Lean. I wish his verse was a little longer, dude. Just like a little, like, it's good, but I just, I, I could have definitely been a little longer. Uh, Parasail, number three. Fiend, two. Just love the Cardi feature, man. I love it. Um, and then My Eyes, yeah, it's definitely my number number one out song right now on the album. For sure. Valid. Yeah. A lot of people aren't going to like that Parasail take, but it's just a... I like it. I like Fiend. I just can't understand a single word that Cardi's saying half but the time. It just, but it sounds good. <laughs> When have you ever I mean, been able to it's read it? It sounds cool, but he's oh, just no. like mumbling random words. Per usual, Maybe it's just me. Cardi. I don't know, but it That's sounds just good. Cardi for you, man. If you don't like that, you don't yeah. like Cardi. I don't he's never been the greatest lyricist, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, his lyrics really don't mean anything. Got a whole song. Yeah, I was just kind of talking. I, there was one song. I think it was like a whole lot of red. I looked up his like most popular song, and I like looked up the lyrics on Google. And it was literally just like yeah, the most just, random wall yeah, of text. Man, like nothing just, made sense. Sounds and I'm like, totally well, it sounds good, but he's not really saying anything. Yeah, yeah. That's all, man. Sounds good. I'm cool. Yeah, so. I'm not the guy that needs like a bedtime story read to me when I listen to a rap album. I just, or, or not a rap album, a hip -hop, hip hop song. I just like, like it to sound good. Good beat. Good vibes. Cool sounds. I'm good. Lonely. Oh, dude. 
Lonely's albums in my top three too, man. Yeah, so this is my top three albums of the year so far. Lonely, Destroy Lonely, Yachty, Utopia. Definitely my top three right now. You too? God, we gotta get Eric and Mike too, dude. <laughs> we could Speaking actually. of top albums of the year, Don't Sleep on Austin by Post Malone. Super unfortunate that Travis decided to drop the same day as Post Malone, but that Austin album's really good. I'm honestly surprised he did that, but I bet you... I don't know. I don't think Post Malone actually cares. Yeah, but like, like yeah. it's it's bro, it's cool, dog. No, I want you to drop on the same day. But Austin's really, it's getting overshadowed by Utopia, obviously. Nah, yeah. But I mean, obviously, Austin's really good. I listened to it on a drive back to my, visit my parents, and I was like, man, this is just a just yeah, good music. Good. To just have Posty on. Doesn't, doesn't you know? miss, man. Posty doesn't. We're miss. about ten minutes from his high school too. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, isn't that crazy? We're also like five minutes from the Chicken Express that he dropped the free Crocs at. Yeah, we still get Crocs brought into us to this day. <laughs> And people are like, yeah, I, go, I went to Grapevine High and I got them for free. Like, to this day, we still get them. I um, got mine through Twitter. They were like... Oh, really? Yeah, it was like, tweet this thing and then enter your address and DoorDash. And then literally someone <laughs> showed up at my apartment... With the Crocs? With the Crocs. That's pretty dope. They're like, here you go. Logan sick. Cook, didn't you cook on those? You got two pairs or something? I got like three pairs, yeah. Well, what happened? I just got... So I call... I uh, ordered them. And then they like... For some reason, like, they never, like, came... And then I called them and I was like, hey, these never came. And then they were like, okay, we'll send you another one. And then three pairs showed up. <laughs> what like, the hell? Fuck. I, was like, I mean, most right, random thing sweet. in the world, but like free <laughs> rocks, like, sure, yeah, that's I'll, dope. I'll take like, them. Right, but you sold sweet. them, right? Yeah, I flipped all of them. Pretty dope. I wish yeah, I, I wish for I the price mine. of like, I think, what was retail? It was like 60 bucks or something, wasn't it? Dude, like, I, I, eight I, bucks or I thought people were just like trolling me. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, just. Just tweet this thing and they'll send you a link. And I'm like, yeah, do whatever. And then sure enough, like two hours later, someone there's a That's knock on my door. Dope. Here's your Crocs. So I was like, oh, thanks. That's super dope. It was so random. <laughs> well, yeah. But, I think it's enough Utopia talk. Yeah. We're 20 minutes in to Utopia. So let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> yeah, we really had to. I'm like that okay. meme of that kid just holding in that anger. And she's <laughs> like, let's go, dude. All no, right. Man, I mean, sorry. It dude. was good. It was a good album. I'll give it. It's growing on me a little you bit. You said you didn't like it. Why are you why are you switching up for the pod? No, I was trying to make Matt mad. But <laughs> oh, dude! Was, uh, night one, Raul was like sending us a screenshot of like. Do not skip, disturb was skip, on. Miss, skip, miss, skip, miss, miss, miss. And then I think you haven't left like a Google review on it. Or something I left the Google for, review just like miss, trolling. Wait, five years yeah. for some high end mid. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> that TikTok's so yeah. funny. It's so no, funny. He was doing everything he could just to get under Matt's skin. So this is like the second Friday that we just play. Utopia back to back all day. It's growing on you. I mean, I guess it's like getting a, like brainwashed. It's like a military tactic here. That <laughs> yeah. it's just like just listen to it over and over and over. Oh, yeah, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> shift a lot. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Yeah. For real. <laughs> no, I, I liked Hyena. I liked the uh, Hyena is really good too. I forgot about that one. What was it uh, Sirens? God's Country, Lost you really liked, right? Sirens God's is good. Country's good. God's Country, you like? God's Country. I wish it was longer, man. But it needed it needed the second sure. half. Like See, that was the one that I think that could have definitely. Benefited a lot from a Kanye feature. Yeah, that was one where I was I, like, "Damn, I should have been Kanye should have been on that." And it was yeah. Kanye's beat too. He gave was him the really? song, right? Yeah, he gave him the the beat. Hmm. It was supposed to be on Donda. Wow. Donda. Or actually, it was supposed to be on God's Country. Kanye was going to drop an album called God's Country, and it was supposed to be on there. I was going to say Donda definitely needed that. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't like Donda. It was all right, dude. The rollout for Donda was next level. That shit was. Oh, it was dope, next man. level. But then, like those performances were so cool. Those were so cool. Yeah, Don. Yeah, it was. I mean, the album wasn't like I don't know, my favorite Kanye albums are probably everyone's least favorite. Really, Kanye albums. What are they? Eight Hundred Eight and Heartbreak. Love that. Yeah, that was um, great. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Love that album. I almost got like that little ballerina girl oh, tattooed. Yeah. Um, and then like what, like a month later, Kanye was saying all this like anti-Semitic stuff. <laughs> and I was like, whoo, dodged a bullet on that <laughs> one, man. Holy yeah. crap. I will but, say though, I, I, I jammed Austin more than Utopia. Uh, I don't know. I just really liked it. It was dope. Well, that's good. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, Posty just does whatever he wants to be honest. No, Posty's a good guy, like, man. And it's different from his last album, Hollywood is Bleeding. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed this album way better. Well, there was no really? features on it, right? No features. No, no features yeah. at all. I mean, the dude's gone like diamond so many times. He's like the most diamond artist. So he, he just knows time. how to make hits. Yeah, of all time. It's pretty crazy. Which is crazy. He passed Elvis, which is insane. Insane. That's crazy, dude. That was pretty yeah, he's just a likable guy too. Yeah. People love him. Like People love his personality and everything. For people in the pod, uh, I was telling Matt how I met him and... I was supposed to shoot Posty Fest and it and never happened because of COVID. <laughs> That's awful, yeah. man. It fucking sucks. So that sucked. 
but really nice guy. We're just jamming out, drinking mimosas in his car. <laughs> That's super dope, man. And he would literally do that with anyone. Yeah, That's what's so yeah, cool exactly. about him. He's literally just like, he. I mean, literally, he just loves people. Like, he just yeah. likes people. People were walking up to him, taking yeah. selfies. Pull up, Posty, pull up, man. Yeah. Shit. Have, you, yeah. have Come on the pod, man. He's actually in town. Come back to your home. I this think he's in home. town this weekend or next really? weekend. Yeah. I'm going to DM his whole management team. <laughs> Speaking of Posty, has been in the the news the last couple of days. Have you seen why? Why? So he's a big like oh just yeah, yeah nerd yeah. and that. gamer, and he loves um, uh, Magic the Gathering. He's a huge fan of Magic the Gathering, the card game. I don't know what that is. He's a huge fan, that. and so he I guess he's been playing forever, and then now that he's got a ton of money, he's been just been buying all the expensive cards. So they released a Lord of the Rings set. I think. Yeah. And there was a one of one card in that set is the one ring from Lord of the Rings. And some random guy just like unpacked it. He was just trembling, right? Some, yeah. He was like, tr I saw the video. He's like trembling as he was holding it. He went and got like sent it off and got it graded in the case and everything. And he sold it to Post Malone for $2.6 million. Talk about just like 20 bucks for him. Yeah. Hey, it must be go. nice, man. Yeah, but yeah, we're struggling. Nice. We're crazy, trying to. So. Budget some sandbags for these mic stands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got the mic stands. They're pieces of <laughs> shit, though. <laughs> I think I honestly think our other setup was easier. No, man, this is way better. No, this is better. This is more yeah. comfortable. No, it's better. It's yeah. It was hard to set up, though. But yeah, God damn, yeah, man, true, this stand's been no, adjusted this is better, about this is better. twenty yeah. times Once to get, get to the stand right here. We'll be straight. Yeah. It's like just the perfect balance, dude. Literally, we have it perfect right now. Yeah, Mine's we're. Good. We're yeah, on just, the fritz right now, guys. Just don't like, move. <laughs> if something just tips over, we'll we'll cut that out. Uh, okay. En enough music talk, dude. Let's get into some shoes. That's what people want fit here. Fit checks. Go do. Fit oh, checks. fit checks. Let's do fit checks. Uh, go for it, Long. Go for it, dude. Uh, so uh, Stu C T. Uh, hopefully you guys watched the vlog. Uh, hope you get. What is this dropping? Is this dropping before the vlog? The next vlog? Yeah. Right, well, yeah. Hope you guys watch the vlog, will. anyways. Uh, Stu C T. Uh, Stu C pants and a mom and ears, the best Jordan three of all time. Bold, Oof. but true take. Mm. I'm with him. Mm. Fitcher? Right. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Landon from the lab, actually. He actually gave me that tee for free. That same exact one Logan's wearing. Pretty dope. Well, I got Landon. this one from Ukraine. Yeah, you told us about that. That's crazy, Yeah, that's man. a wild story. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got, <laughs> so I got this on Grailed and, uh, for like $50 or whatever. And I guess the guy was from Ukraine. Obviously, I didn't know this. He was like taking kind of long to like, ship. <laughs> But times are tough here in Ukraine. We'll we'll ship next week. I was like, <laughs> "All right, man. No uh, worries. No worries, brother. <laughs> just, just get shit, out when you can. Thanks." God, dude, that's like, if you don't know why that's so wild, just Google Ukraine. Yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> I was like, Holy yeah. shit! I hope you know that. If you don't know what's going on, that's <laughs> yeah, that's, that's concerning. Um, for check for me, uh, <laughs> vault hat. I said this on the vlog today. There's just a few of these left. I don't know if I'm gonna restock them, but I like these a lot. Uh, Beastie Boys, Vintage T, Stu's Pants, and the Oompa Loompa SBs, I think, believe 2005. It's Pink Box era, so I think 2005, 2006. Um, but yeah, it matches pretty, like, perfectly with my T. So, yeah. Uh, for me, Kith, uh, Star Wars hat from a year or two ago. Um, Kith, Star Wars shirt. You're going to end up seeing all of them because I literally went and bought all of them. Um, while it's still recovering from that. Lulu pants as always, and then on feet I have the uh, Action Bronson lapis lazuli. Uh, funny story about these: um, someone on the pods has always been very vocal about um, not really liking the Action Bronson shoes at all, not liking the 990 V6. I never said um, like 990 V6. Uh, I think oh, you did. Then I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Pretty sure you did. I'm not a fan of the Let's model. Let's find that clip. Let's find that <laughs> the clip. clip's out there somewhere in a previous <laughs> vlog. I Strangely enough, I got a text, what, two days ago? <laughs> like, hey, Daniel, did you ever uh, pick up the Action Bronsons? And I was like, yeah, of yeah, course I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I had three pairs and uh, just get a phone call about 10 minutes later. Like, hey, man, uh, can I buy one of those off you? And I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. And he's like, yeah, just don't tell Raul or anything. <laughs> Fucking feel And uh, so immediately texted Raul. And I was like, hey, bro, uh, you won't that. believe what just happened. <laughs> he would have found out when I brought him in anyways. Yeah, yeah. more funny that way, though. I was clearing the memory card ASAP, just like ready to document this flip. <laughs> <laughs> They're so clean, dude. There's a flip-flop there on, uh, on I don't think side. I I don't think I ever said that colorway was bad. I'm actually pretty sure I said that that colorway is way better than the other one. 
I agree with Pretty that. Pretty sure I said that. I agree with that. Because I still stand by that. That first colorway is atrocious. Those are clean, though. I like those. First colorway is still shoe of the year. I for still me. wouldn't get them. Seriously? You seriously look at that one and the other colorway and prefer the other one over yeah. those. Mm hmm. I guess we're just different. Yeah, we got shot. <laughs> Those are much better. Dude. I'm and I'm, I know I haven't worn them, and I keep talking about them being my shoe of the year. I'm saving them for the last pod of the year when we talk about our shoe of the year. That's why I'm gonna bust it out again. You still have them? You haven't sold those yet? Oh, dude, I'm. Probably not ever gonna get rid of those. I've heard that. I've heard before. that before. <laughs> I love those low key go really good with your T right now, Logan. Oh really? Yeah, Logan. Yeah, <laughs> Logan's size <laughs> actually so? came in today. We're trying to get. Yeah, it we're, we're trying to get. We're trying to get him on the boat. Uh, I'm never. Eric, bring it over here. <laughs> bring it over here. Dude. I'm, I'm never getting get, them. Get, let's see. Let's see it on. I'll never get them. Comment you down really below. You really don't like them? Like actually, like, I'm not even joking. Oh, I don't like that model at all. They look really good with the shirt. Comment down below if you think Logan should uh should cop these. Put them on. Put them on. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're clean. I, I like them. I like them. I'm gonna. I, I, I can see Logan not liking them. Honestly, I'm gonna wear them a lot. I like them. Just good shoe. Yeah. Not a fan. They, the, the, the one thing I would change is the Timbaland. Yeah, that's that that all. That like, do they not come with other laces? Yeah, I. But someone asked Action Bronson like in an interview. They're like, "Hey, are do they come with like extra laces or something?" And he was like. He was like, oh, they're a piece of art. Like, why would you change a piece of art yeah. or something like that? And I was like, okay, I kind of get it. Like, well, it was intended to look like this. He's, so. met, he's from New York, right? Yeah. So, why, Timber, so it, ma it makes, makes sense. 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 But yeah. here in Dallas, Texas, when you can wear Timberlands two weeks out of the year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, just, I'm not a big fan of the laces. But yeah, it, it, I guess it works on the shoe, honestly. Yeah, I like it. it I think like one terrible. of the syndicate guys put, like, gray laces in them or really? something. That probably looks good. And uh, they look clean. But I'll, I'll probably leave they it. They give me, like, off noir for... Union vibes and yeah, kind of low key, low key, um, low key exactly wave runners vibes, kind of too. Exactly what I said. But I agree. Yeah, they're clean. You know Are saying? you gonna get them roll? You should get them. Yeah, I like them uh, for you. Try to hit retail, but I couldn't. So I just, nobody could. Yeah. yeah, they run big or are they true to size? True to size. You could do an eleven. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Be eleven and a half just goes for guap, just for no reason. Yeah, I mean, you I can try mine. I, want on. You I guarantee you it'll be too big on you. You tried them on earlier, didn't you? Yeah, I yeah, yeah it was just them. like I think eleven and a half would probably work. Don't get was, them roll, huh? Don't do it. Why? I don't want you to. Roll's actually a big Action Bronson fan. Like yeah. no bullshit. Don't like, do it, dude. Okay. Well, you almost hit him with your car, right? Yeah, we've talked about we've that. Talked about <laughs> <laughs> um, don't fit checks. Uh, sneaker con coming up August twenty sixth, right? Yeah, twenty seventh. One of those days, late August. Uh, we're going. We will be going. We will be going to sneaker con. Um, it's been Saturday only, right? Day one? Yeah, I don't yeah, think I'll go to Sunday. Day, if anything, day. maybe I'll go to Sunday. Uh, I, don't even, yeah, I don't think so. Probably just Saturday. Um, for sure Saturday. But, um, yeah, man. I'm excited for that. We have it, the last three events we've gone to were super... Well, the one we went to in San Antonio was terrible. The one before that wasn't that bad. We actually bought a lot. We bought like five pairs of SB4s. Yeah, that was yeah. good. Newcastles. Yeah, we got, some, we got some shit at that one. But the one at San Antonio was not was good. that... Garbage. Was that just sneaker exit or what was that? No, yeah. So sneaker exit was decent. That was the one that we got. Travelers that was San Antonio. Travelers was San Antonio. Out. And I, I'm not I'm not trying to diss travelers or anything, but maybe it was just maybe it was just I that. Think it was San just Antonio San Antonio. Antonio. Yeah, I don't know. It could I be the city. Just, Dallas is a little, Dallas is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, but, but yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, it was not worth. I want to say it wasn't worth the drive, but it was a fun day. We had fun. Caves, Explored caves, caves, caves yeah, dope. that was dope. It was fun, but uh, yeah. So, we're, I have, I have a question about sneaker con. So the only, I've never been to a sneaker con. Really? I've only been to the smaller conventions and stuff like that. And I'm I'm never impressed. One, they never have the shoe <laughs> I'm looking for because it's always something obscure. Two, if I do find something I'm looking for, it's literally Lock like it in, sixty dollars to a hundred dollars over ask, and all, prices are always firm. They'll never willing to budge. So what? Why should I get excited for sneaker con? You've never been. That's never been to sneaker con. Sneaker con back in the day. Like tw I'm talking like 2018, 2017. That yeah, shit was, was fun, fucking man. crazy, dude. That's just events in general, Cause Loki. Because Kixpo steals. back in the day was fire too. Like the trading pits yeah. and shit. That's where you get the fucking deal. Yeah, no, but, but now, always been the king. Now it's they still have like crazy shit there. Like they like yeah, crazy when we pairs. Went, when me and Matthew went last year, they had there were like Freddy's walking around and like well, you got they had like Heinekens the mm -hmm. and like, randomly just so. walk, like old SBs for like decent prices. Matthew bought Stussies for like a good deal. Yeah, like clean pair of Stussies too. I'll say if you're going there to buy the basic stuff, it's not going to be for good prices. But if you go there, I mean, it, it's just, but that's just because there's a bigger demand for it. Obviously, everyone's going there to look for SB4s. But if you're going to find, 
if you're going to look for a Oompa Loompa or a Newcastle or yeah, a Stussy SB stuff like that, where there's a little bit of obviously of a smaller amount of people looking for that pair, you're probably gonna be able to get a better deal for it. But everyone and their mother that's walking around there is looking for an SB4, so obviously those are gonna be high. But yeah, older stuff like anything you want, like like I know you like Toro fours, like that wouldn't be it. Like that wouldn't be a you could probably find them there for a decent price, and they'll probably be it'll probably be decent for you. Stuff like that. Just stuff you wouldn't even think of, honestly. Yeah, like, like you're not going to go there and find... If you're looking for like a Why So Sad or a Run the Jewel or something, yeah, those are going to be 50 to 100 over ask, and they're probably going to be firm because everyone's looking around looking for that. But you can find older stuff for sure for good so, prices. What are you guys looking for then at SneakerCon? Uh, I wouldn't mind those. Uh, the Action Bronsons? Purple... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so your, your size is right you're, there. You're dead wrong, my man. Right here. <laughs> Oompa. Uh, Oompa Loompa. I've been wanting those for a while. Um, also, uh, Purple Pigeons. Been wanting those for a while. I used to have those, actually. But then I sold them. Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah. They, those were cooked, though. I got this for a steal, though. I got this for 200 bucks. Yeah, I forgot about that. Stucy New Balance. 200 ballots. bucks. And I sold them for, like, 300 bucks. Right. But, um... What? Stussy New Balance? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't What's care. wrong with those? There's nothing wrong with them, but it's just, I already have the sea salts, and it's basically like, I just don't need them. I guess. I don't really care. They're cool. Congratulations, Eric. Seriously. Happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, CPFM forces the white ones. How did you been looking for those forever? Dude, yeah, good luck. That shoe doesn't lock those exist. In. You can't find them. They're Dude, always, that shoe does not exist. Uh, like, it's actually crazy, like, for real. Like, I cannot find my size in them. I, I know, like, in all the Dallas sneaker groups and even some of the bigger, like, U.S. sneaker groups I'm in, I've seen an 11 and a half in those posted one time in the last, like, four or five years. I got And it. Matt bought ridiculous. it. Yes. But, like, besides that, I've and never that seen... fucking steal, too. Yeah, I got it for, like, 4 DS. That was a fucking steal. Yeah. They just don't exist anymore. They don't come into the I store. Never find them. I never them. If I ever find them, I've seen them, like, fucking cooked. Well, like I was destroyed. about to say, didn't a pair come into the last store, like, and he wanted just tax for it? was, like, 600 and they were, like, really, yeah, like, pretty... Like tax. They weren't beat, but they were, like, obviously used. It was just annoying. Didn't that happen? Yeah, that happened. I was like, all right, whatever. And then we saw him at SneakerCon, didn't we? Yeah, we saw him at SneakerCon still with them. And he still wanted them. 600 and I was like, hey, man, I'll give you give you 400 still. It's like, not a bad oh. offer for a used pair. It's like, yeah. yeah. It was just annoying. Um, I think that's pretty much it for me. What What are you looking for? Are you looking for anything? I I wouldn't mind getting the Crenshaw Skate Clubs. Are those coming out by then? Those come out tomorrow. Okay, well, that's Actually, good. they're going to, the August 5th. Um, on the Crenshaw Skate Club website, um, that's literally a pipe dream hitting on that website to get. They come out split. tomorrow. Tomorrow, cool. One p.m. You're not. Don't quote me. On you that. are not hitting on that website. Yeah, that's. I, that's getting heavily unless you're botted. a size like six. Yeah, maybe. Like you might be able to hit. It's gonna get botted. Um, I wouldn't mind those, but honestly, do prices are like high threes, low fours, and if they have them there, they're gonna be like four twenty five and. I don't like them enough to pay that. Now the Uto something, the other SB With that's like the coming feather out? on the back or whatever. Yeah, I like those a lot. I wouldn't mind getting a pair of those, but again, I really don't want to pay like over yeah. four hundred for them. But I'd say one of those two shoes, if I can find them for a decent price, I'll probably cop one. Uh, I want a Newcastle really bad. He just got them. I want a Newcastle pretty bad. I thought you had one. I do not have a Newcastle. I, I do. do want those really bad. I I found a. I recently, dude, every time I find them in my size, they're always DS, and I do not like buying DS SBs. Yeah, older SBs DS, yeah. because the problem is you like. Oh, I wouldn't want to do it's just, I mean, I don't like buying them DS. I like buying them used. You buy them DS, and then you wear them once, and it's towards the value. Yeah, the value gets. It's just because the DS market on those is so much different than the used market, because there's so many more used pairs on the market than there is right. DS pairs. So a DS pair is like, you know what I mean? Like, insanely hard to come by. Um, but yeah, definitely a Newcastle used clean. Um, these were a little bit more worn than I thought they would be. So low key, maybe a little bit of a cleaner pair of new of Oompas. I'm cool with this pair until I find a cleaner pair. But if I do find a cleaner pair there, I wouldn't mind to get a cleaner pair there. Um, are the Union ones coming out by then? I think so. But a lot of like Union's drop is at the end of this month. I think like the, I think it's the 23rd. That's what I think. 20 yeah i want to say something i don't know i could be it's wrong this month though. didn't they get pushed back 
I'm pretty sure it's the 23rd. I'm pretty sure I saw Union post it like today or yesterday. Oh, really? I'm, I believe so. I'm pretty sure it's this month, but the problem is pairs won't be in hand by the time Seeker yeah, comes true. around. Now, the boutiques in Dallas that yeah. are release releasing them um, will have their pairs in hand already, but yeah, you're going to pay a lot. I wouldn't mind I, I, those. I would not mind if I can find them for market. Or I'm not paying over market for those because I know they're those. Are, those will definitely come in here. I think. Oh yeah, they'll definitely come in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe not my size. I mean, the problem. What's crazy is like when the Union Dunks came out. Like Dunks were still kind of like at their peak. Yeah. And now those Union Dunks don't really go oh, for dude. much of anything, Nothing. which is crazy. Yeah. The Union Jordan One is coming out, and Jordan Ones are absolutely in the gutter i mean we talked about this i think last episode yeah i mean the black toes are literally sitting at every nike store yep. in dfw black toe full size run so it's like what's the market gonna be on these i mean people don't like the woven piece yeah but people are still gonna uh, buy them because they're gonna see the og yeah union it's ones the closest, go for the almost thing they can get two thousand dollars yeah. so yeah but i don't think that i think you're gonna be able to get a pair a pair will walk in you'll get it for like Three, three twenty-five. Oh, I hope you're right, man. That'd be dope. Don't you want those two, Eric? Yeah, that's your. That'd be your first Jordan one, right? Yeah, that'd be a crazy first Jordan. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, you like those, right? I like them. If I hit for retail, I'll keep them. Unless Matt wants to pay an absurd amount for a size twelve, then obviously I'll sell them to him. But Classic. <laughs> that's pretty that. much the rule of thumb. If I hit, <laughs> okay, like I, I hit something size twelve. If Matt doesn't hit, then. Oh, God. He gets sold them for a premium. That's awesome. just how it works. Awesome. All right. Well, yeah, I need those. I wouldn't mind those. <laughs> Oompas, Newcastles. Is there any other? Oh, Baby Bear SBs. I wouldn't mind those. Those would have to be a, a pretty good price, though. That's surprising that you would want those. I like old SBs, man. That's a classic. Gibson's, right? You're a big fan of those? What about <laughs> what about <laughs> Dior Highs? No. Ooh. That's a little too out of my pay grade right now, man. That's a little, that's a little out of my price range right you now. You wouldn't get those? Not right now. No. How about a used uh, LV? What about like a used one? twelve? Yeah, you don't think you? <laughs> Not right now, dude. I'm trying to. I gotta chill. What else? What else? I'm trying to go to Disney know? Disneyland with Vanessa, dude. That's a whole. That's a whole Disney trip, man. Like I'm just gonna save that money. And go to I'm Disney going in October, bro. Meet us there. You are? Yeah. Could you actually hook me up on tickets? Like play tickets? Yeah. We might have to, might have to talk after. Do this. not DM me. I will not hook up <laughs> any of you all with playing tickets. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. well, I, I I do want to go. She's she's never been, so I think that'd be really dope for for us. Um, but yeah, nothing that crazy. Newcastles, Union Ones, Oompas, Baby Bears. That's about it. I don't Any clothing? I know Logan's been on the hunt for like just an OG plain gray box logo hoodie. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I get that. I'm not really like on the hunt for it. It's kind of just if I come across it all. Yeah. I might get for it. For a good price. Like if it comes in the store or something. I mean, I'm always looking for it. good vintage tees and stuff. Yeah, that too. There's never a time where I'm not looking for like Hopefully a good. They, they have some vintage there. If they have like a dope vintage tee there, I'll probably get it. But hey, let us know. Let us know in the comments if y'all want to see a closet tour. We've been discussing that. I think I we have had comments about it before, but I don't know about I don't know if the demand would be for it there as much as the sneaker collection would. But if you guys want to see a closet tour, we could do that. Like all, we could show all of our vintage tees and all of our. We have a look. This dude has a really good vintage collection. I have I have a pretty good one too. I think you guys would enjoy that. Let us know in the comments. Y'all want to see a, a closet tour? We'll show all of our, our all of our goodies. Um, but yeah, man, you're gonna, you're gonna, are you, so you're coming with us to sneaker con for sure. You're buying my ticket. Okay. Well, that's my birthday gift from Matt. He's buying my ticket for sneaker con. Sure. Fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> my no, birthday is like a day after sneaker con. Is it actually the twenty eighth? Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll buy your ticket. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I thought you were just like saying that. Like no, literally, that's, I wouldn't be saying okay, it just yeah. to say mine too. But, well, it's not in December. But it's in October. Speaking <laughs> of vintage, there was a shirt here in the store that you wanted that was consigned. The Do you want to talk about that one a little bit? So, <clears throat> Casa. Shout out my boy. Uh, shout out Casa. Uh, hopefully he doesn't sell that at the event. Yeah, because what, what is it? What is it? Swap? It's the Dallas Swap, swap meet. It's tomorrow? Swap, swap con, yeah, something yeah, like swap that. Con. So it's tomorrow. It's currently the 4th. So, so it's, it's on the 5th. It's tomorrow on the 5th, August 5th. Hopefully he doesn't sell it, man, because I really want that one. It's uh, Matt. Did you post it on this year? Well, I showed it on the last vlog. It's that. It's the Rodman where he's like this, then it's the. It's just not of not of this world. On the back, it's insane. It's my. It's my. Really, it's my Rodman grill too. Really, really Such want that beauty. one. Fit him like a cashmere glove, man. Fit him perfectly. Literally fits cashmere Logan glove like really. beautifully. Oh, man. Cinderella slipper, man. <laughs> That's a. It's an, ex, it's an expensive piece. Like yeah. What's the most you've ever 
Would that break the record for the highest? Yeah, would that priced vintage? Uh, what you offer him four? Yeah, I offered him four. I paid three fifty for my Smashing Pumpkins one. So yeah, that would be the highest. It's a good one, man. Highest. That's definitely so worth it, dude. I'd pay four for it, that too. It was a clean tee. I would pay. I'd four pay for five, that. honestly. I literally would. Hopefully, he hasn't seen this. Yeah, Cut that out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think you already told Hopefully him that. Yeah, I, I told him. I told him. I was like, if you "Are you want, told him like I'll pay more? Just I'll tell me what." Pay more. Just please work with me. I really want it. I really, really want it. So he, hopefully, he he has probably one of the most insane vintage inventories kid, and collections. Kid's eighteen, by the way. Yeah, just He's turned 18. eighteen. He has probably one of the most insane vintage slash collection inventory. I don't know what it just would just got be. out of high school, like crazy in insane. that I've ever seen in my life. Like uh, definitely the best in Texas. Crazy to me. Let's He's crazy, it. man. Like literally, Dude I mean, fifteen hundred dollar biggie tees, thousand dollar Tupac tees, the craziest rap tees you ever seen, all over print Leonard Skinner, just like literally just insane stuff, dude. Like, like, yeah, that that, that, that dude's insane, man. He got you a Green Day tee. That he didn't he have. got me a Green Day tee just recently. He, yeah, man, he is all he is always picking and sourcing. He's he's him, man. He's, He's him. Cool. He's Love a cool him. dude, man. Love what's that the, guy. Shout out Casa. What's the most you've paid for it? for a tee for a tee vintage or anything like that? Wouldn't mind having him on the pod, honestly. That'd be interesting. Casa would be dope to have on the pod. Yeah. Might if he's set, down. Might, might like, set that up. He's a quiet kid, but he's got some stories to tell, man. We he's chop cool. it up with him for a couple hours. Yeah, every time he comes, he's here for a couple hours. We we chop it, but for a... Dude, I... Your I, grail for vintage tea? Nah, the no, most... What's I, most he's paid? Oh, I think we know. Paid. Yeah, I paid like a little over a thousand for, uh, for the Sopranos box logo. Hear me out. I was like super deep into Sopranos at the time. I'm still am. I'm like I'm in season five right now. I'm about to finish it, but I'm super deep. I was super deep into it, and I don't know, dude. It's a dope tee. It's from '99, super limited. And honestly, the what I got it for is about market on it. It's a very, very, very rare shirt. So it's it literally just the box logo, but for the R, it has a gun. It's really dope. I remember, I remember when it. he texted me about it. It's dope. He's like, hey, I'm thinking about like bundling it. this with this. And oh, I was yeah, and I got like, that crew neck. Yeah, no, that was, like, it was you got a brown it. crew neck. And I was like, wait, wait, so, I'm sorry. How much is that shirt? And he's like, it's like a thousand. And I'm like, please <laughs> do not buy this. That is, yeah, I really probably shouldn't have. But <laughs> yeah. you, oh, really? I really, really <laughs> shouldn't have done that. But it was, I forgot. I forgot it was with that crew neck. I think it was like 1300 with the crew neck Holy and shit. and the T. But the crew neck is sick. It's from 97. It's just like this really like beautifully faded brown cr Supreme crew neck, box logo crew neck. It's from 97, like super dope. It, I'm definitely going to be wearing that a lot. I don't think I'd ever paid that much for a shirt, man. No, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have. <laughs> I think the but, most I'd ever pay would be like, I'd pay like 800 for a shirt. No, yeah, that was crazy. I don't know what I was doing, but I, so I sold. <laughs> they I sold have bills and all that, obviously. <laughs> so it's, yeah, not yet. No, nothing serious <laughs> yet. So I, but I did sell. I did bring my uh, off-white UNLV dunks here. Whenever I did that, I got rid of a couple of shoes. I think it was those yeah. and then my mom and your ones. I sold both of those. I was like, yeah, yeah I'll you sell don't both need those, those at all, dude. Yeah. yeah no, okay. you're good on yeah. those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sold both of those for, for those pieces of clothing. But uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. But it's okay. <laughs> Again, you invest in the right pieces of clothing, it's not going to go down in value. I don't think that Sopranos box was ever going to like be a brick. You know what I mean? That's always going to be a grail. Um, and that crew neck's really sick, too. I love that crew neck. Me and Matt absolutely fucking cooked on Utopia Forces, <laughs> let's fucking go. Put her fucking. <laughs> I bet nobody hit on those fucking. Manual forces, man. didn't bought them. No <laughs> Manual game. Manual. <laughs> Manual. Got in line. I was fucking in and out like that. Dub. Got the got the vinyl for five bucks as well. That was dope. That was a nice little touch. Yeah, no, that. Well, that I hope so. Kind of make it worth it. I just got fucked on Air Forces. <laughs> <laughs> a literal fucking stencil just gonna come in a regular Air Force One box. No. I mean, no. if they were box, like the no CLB. Anything, Quality Air Force, stuff, then yeah. I, of course I would have bought them. But like, I fucking these wish, are gonna, man. these are literally. Oh, that's we haven't seen them in yeah. hand yet. But I'm assuming they're gonna be your We're plastic gonna be leather Air Force ones with the Utopia stencil. Some pairs are probably gonna be like missing a U on them. Or, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm just I gonna say it. Topia. It's gonna be like peeling off or something. Yeah, it's gonna be peeling <laughs> off. Like it's um, um, but, yeah, we're gonna be getting those left and right. I'm a sucker, man. I bought the briefcase too. <laughs> he bought the briefcase. <laughs> I bought the briefcase. That's content for the vlog, bro. The briefcase. <laughs> that's gonna be a dope ass fit pick too. Do you imagine me like mid stride walking with it? Oh, I can definitely imagine you. Because I'm gonna. It's, <laughs> it's gonna God, be sick, dude. It, it was funny. I remember like I was in a movie whenever the Air Force Ones dropped. I wasn't gonna buy them regardless, but um, and then all the sneaker accounts like the next day are like this is gonna be that one shoe that everyone regrets missing out on. Blah blah blah. And prices on StockX were. 
three hundred something dollars, and they were like, "See, we told you these weren't going to brick." And then literally a day later, full size run restock. They're going to keep like restock another we'll hour. It's yeah. Travis is going to keep restocking that shoe nonstop. <laughs> like you said, you're going to have yeah no, thirty no. pairs in here before you know. They it. probably will sell. I mean, it's going to be similar to their Supreme Air Force. They'll sell the Supremes. Sell. It's, yeah, they do, which really. is surprising. Well, you know. Yeah. People like that little touch on it. And they're cheap. So many sales that I saw on stock eggs for over 300 bucks. Yeah, no, that's what those hell, people dude. are yeah, playing Marvin's room right now in the dark. The those are, those, those, <laughs> those forces are different, man. I would those, not buy anything for the rest of the year just if I took that L. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those forces are different, man. Travis yeah. really took his time on those. Or the details are insane. His creativity is out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> The details are insane, man. <laughs> he's he's done it again. He's just, done it again. He just, <laughs> he just thinks so far outside of the box. Dude. It actually blows my mind. I will say his merch is good, especially the stuff with no, yeah, Like that stuff's clean. But like, I even think the briefcase is cool. Like it's, it's just a yeah, cool novelty. Cool. It's part of the rollout and everything. Yeah. But the Air Force One man, like he, that was Travis much. saying, like, hey, don't worry, guys, these will sell. Just, just go <laughs> yeah, ahead and mark them up. Oh, what are you gonna do with that kid? Did he could have put them up for two hundred bucks retail? They would have sold out. Yeah, do with that kid? Like. Oh, I want to trade 15 forces for your green lobsters. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> I'll buy them, guys. I'm going to be buying them, but I don't know. I can't promise you you're going to be making money on them, honestly. They're still going for... They're still they're still decent on stock right now, but Do, I guarantee nobody, once, yeah, nobody once parents touch down, once parents touch down. Was it's it totally like different. two to three weeks for shipping or something? Yeah, like yeah. I mean, they probably haven't been made yet. I mean, yeah, they just have to go in the factory. Yeah, yeah just, I, was <laughs> thinking, I was thinking that too. That, well, they have, probably haven't even made them that. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's probably like made to order for all we know. I guarantee just it. I'm just going to wear stickers. mine. I mean... I'm just gonna wear them. It's just. A, I'll see what, how I feel when they fucking come in. If my used like fucking peeling off. I'll probably just. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, you, you might really get a different idea once you see those in person for the first time. It's the quality <laughs> and the details. You might look a lot I better we'll in hand. See, man. Fuck. I mean, they're, they're, hey, so also uh, the golden ticket shit with the Utopia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently, I didn't know this. Well, this was in the Discord, and they've been saying all kinds of bullshit. This, so, they, is that a diss to Timothy Chalamet as well? The whole golden ticket thing? Or I don't no? know. I got the Oompa Loompas on. Oh, I didn't even oh, think shit. About that. Did you think about, I thought about that when he said. I like, didn't even think I about wonder, that. I wonder if that's also. Well, like, he did the golden ticket thing with the at the at the baseball game too, or the oh, softball game. Yeah, he did yeah. that too for the Air Maxes. But apparently, some of the briefcases are going to come with golden tickets inside of them. Like um, either I think it said all access to all access tour tickets. I think it's something like that. So like you go backstage and stuff. If you win, so we gotta we gotta wait to open that for the fucking the fucking vlog, man. Yeah, don't open it. No, like for real, because imagine like, you fucking get it, dude. Holy <laughs> that's gonna be the most disappointing vlog ever. Oh yeah, I just paid one hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> for a brown briefcase. <laughs> Nothing's in it. It's gonna look great on the wall back. Yeah, here, I mean it's gonna be dope. Imagine I like it. Imagine you fucking get it though, dude. Holy fuck, man. It's a golden ticket to what though? It said uh, all access tour backstage, tickets. Like yeah, all right? access backstage tour everything. Probably get to meet fucking Trav. Dude, that would be insane. Okay, so man. you get one ticket. Who are you taking? Trenton. Yeah. Trenton's by I'm far the biggest. I'm surprised that the two fucking Ragers, they survived fucking Astro World. <laughs> unscathed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, unscathed. Literally. Trenton had no other, no idea what the fuck even happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to like really hear our Astro World story. We could go that. We could do that one day. That that's a funny. It's a funny. It's a funny story, man. But is it funny? <laughs> No, well, no, the way me and Trenton got lost, dude. <laughs> okay. So, because me and Trenton, like, I'm not going to get into all this. Be, it's already a long part. We're already kind of long into it. But <laughs> Y'all want to hear it last time. We can talk about it next time if you want to. If we get some comments, we'll talk about the whole day. But, yeah, man. Um, yeah, about the briefcase, I'm a sucker. The force. You really didn't get the forces? I'm surprised you didn't get them. Are you surprised? I'm, I'm you, not, you go I'm for not everything. You go for I'm everything for retail. No, I'm yeah, not well, surprised. I was going for them, and then I got to check out and, on the restock. I was like, oh, this comes out to like 198 yeah, And I was expensive. like, no, I'm I'm trying to like cut down on expenses. Did you get, you got the vinyl? Were you getting the vinyl too? They sold out of the oh, okay. cover one or whatever. Really? They sold out of it? it it's not on the website as, as of last night. It was, wow. So I was like, I'll just, it's, it's going to be at like your targets and all the yeah, yeah, record stores there. in a couple there. months. But I'm going to uh, going to Vegas bucks. in a couple of weeks for my birthday, so I'm like eating ramen noodles every night, just trying to like save money, um, <laughs> <This> dude. <laughs> so I can double my money in Vegas, right? That's how it works. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll find something at Urban Necessities yeah. and Let pay double know. market. But yeah. put it all in red. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> all right, red, dude, red. Just put it all in red. I'm gonna Facetime you when I do that. Do it, Logan. <laughs> Logan, <laughs> you're right. I hit. I hit. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, um, we're going to get into some uh, questions from the comments from last pod. Eric, can you toss my phone, please? Please? Don't knock down my mic, please. <laughs> it's, like, it's in the perfect balance. Uh, 
We got some questions from last pod. Let me find it for you guys. Everyone is dogging me on the pod right now about how the album was mid. I appreciate it. That's <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Good shit. All right. Fuck you, Raul. <laughs> um, I'm leaving that in there. Let me see. What's y'all's biggest sneaker pet peeve? That one comes from High. Yeah, I know good. Daniel's off the roof. Oh my god! I, I know every Daniels. time I see it, I like have to call it out. Here we go. And I see <laughs> it. Every, I way. see it every so single day. Shit. My biggest pet peeve is when people wear like mismatching socks to like the shoe that they're wearing. So like <laughs> Nike socks with Yeezy slides, for, it just like pisses me off. I'm sorry. It's just like it. It's a completely un <laughs> unnecessary. Like I just it irritates me. Oh, this dude. <laughs> I think it was last week. Raul, we'll put the photo up. Travis Phantoms lifts up the sock. He had like one Adidas sock and then like one just like Target sock on or something. It's just He's like wearing five hundred dollars shoes. Literally socks, more, you, yeah. socks you found on the side of the road. <laughs> literally Goodwill socks hey, with what the dunks on or something. Bum on the side yeah, of the road. These pants go down to my heels, man. Y'all don't need to. Dude. I don't need to have the socks be all nice. <laughs> the the worst is the night before. Whenever we were like Matt and Logan were getting the store ready and set everything up, Matt takes his shoes off to be more comfortable. I kid you not, there was a crater sized hole in the bottom of his <laughs> sock. Shit. Yeah, dude, I got some new socks. Like, Matt, please, you own a sneaker store. I was wearing the what the dog. You're successful. Please <laughs> buy some new socks. Dude, I get so lazy with that though. And the, ah, God, it's so dude, annoying. I get my stance socks on Amazon. They get shipped to your door, man. Okay. Like, it's, <laughs> Give me a break, man. <laughs> can we it's start fine. a GoFundMe for Matt's socks, man? Like, that's fine. Dude, I, got so, my, I got my Nikes on today. That's that's probably my biggest pet. There's probably a couple more that I'm not thinking of, but like, dude, that's my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> what, would you, what would you say yours is? I don't even know, honestly. What was yours? I don't know yet. I'm thinking. Do you have one, Ro? That's why you tried to pawn it off on me. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it was a sneaker, sneaker, sneaker pet peeve. Your biggest sneaker pet peeve. I don't... I was going to say the sock thing, honestly. That's why I was going to say I think the whole, like, the cooked Air thing. Forces is kind of dumb, where, like, they intentionally, like, beat them up and stuff and wear really? them, like, all... You got you to have 10 fresh pairs on deck, then. Well, I mean... <laughs> I'm just like, always. you always gotta have them crispy. <laughs> <laughs> I get what we're all saying. Like, no, I've like seen... they'll buy them new and then they'll just like beat the crap out of them for the aesthetic of. So I'm just like, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, I, I've seen Air Force Ones that look like they came from where Logan's shirt came from. Like they literally like, <laughs> were in, from Ukraine, from the Ukraine, dude. Like they were like, been through fucking hell and back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like I've seen some shoes that have been like absolutely co and like their outfits like really nice and. Nice yeah, clothing. I mean, like the the Nigels, like those, like how those come, like those are cool. Yeah, it's a dope aesthetic. But like, yeah. people, you're saying the forces are meant to look clean. Well, they don't even wear them clean. They'll just like crease them up and then like throw dirt on them just to give them that dirty look and shit. Like, yeah, it's not the shoe to do that with, I guess. Yeah, so I could give a fuck, dude. Like, people are always like, oh, uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it doesn't bother me, but I mean, it's just like it's kind of dumb. Yeah. yeah, it's it's your shoe. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you spent your money on it, you can do whatever you want. But you like, can, you can burn in a fire if I, or all it I kind of just gets to the point. It's like you should probably like run those under the sink a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. But. This is, I don't know if this is a sneaker head pet peeve, but this is the most annoying thing to me is when people clearly wear their shoes and then come try to sell them to us as DS. I hate that, dude. I have one. That really pisses me off. When people wear their like stock X tags, that was really dumb to me. When they wear the stock X tag, but um, <laughs> also, uh, people wear the off white tag. I don't. I wouldn't. That's not it. as bad though. It's not, not as, bad. as bad. I'm just saying, like that it doesn't annoy me. But that, like that would annoy me shoe. wearing it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that I'm would like because when you're walking, you would kind of be like flapping a little bit. And that's stock X tag. I would. I would really always good. take it off. Yeah. That's a really good one. That one is the really stock corny, tag, dude. That's like, I the fact that you need that, like, what's it called? That, like, uh, it all, when you need, yeah, the, the fact that you need the validation to know, like, everyone, like, yeah, I have real shoes on. Like, bro, like, it just wear what you have that they're fake. Yeah, like, it's like when I weird. See, like, I saw a guy at work the other day. I can't remember. He was wearing some, I think it might have been the Turbo I've Green Jordan it. 1 or something. And he's walking around, like, headed to a meeting. And I see this, like, green tag just, like, <laughs> flopping around. I'm so like, dude, like, you, Kind of look like an idiot. Yeah. Really. I mean, uh, hey, people, you do you, man. You've seen people the money. wear it on their shirt too. That is the they have craziest it on a Supreme one. shirt. Like on a they have it like on their tag, and they have it like and hanging, hanging out, out the, the back. shirt. 
That's that gotta be uncomfortable. Right? I'm like, Holy that is shit, bad, man. man. The fact that you need that valid validation, like, a it's a little bit concerning. Moron. Like, honestly, like, What's, you should not care that much about what people that's think. What you, what you have as hell on. To me, it's dude. funny though, because there's still a percentage that I mean, I they could be the fake. With me and yeah. Matthew, they're not the best. Legit yeah, like that's another thing too. Like, those stock X tags mean nothing, guys. Like, if you guys do do that, cut them off immediately. First of all, but second of all, it doesn't it doesn't mean anything. Though, <laughs> almost every fake nowadays comes with a fake stock X tag. Like yeah. that's I mean, really doesn't mean anything to me. Honestly, just yeah, that's a really good one, dude. Yeah, that's I mean, a really good shoes one. come in here all the time. They that's have pretty a, much stock, it if me. Matt buys it and has a stock X tag, just, literally two seconds later, even <laughs> as the deals are getting negotiated, Matt's just like ripping that tag off. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I hate them. I don't, I don't like the way yeah. they look or anything. Stupid. They have the eBay tag now too. I'm like. Yeah. Really, man? I mean, you can have the best fit on the world on great shoes, too. And you have a stock X tag hanging from your shoe, completely ruins it. Ruins it, it yeah. It, it, like, it, like you, you lose all your confidence. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have confidence <laughs> if you're wearing Especially that. Especially nowadays. Stock X is kind of like falling. Yeah, it's funny. It doesn't even have a good so rep anymore. Like, like no. Maybe back in the day, I guess. I still would never, ever do that, ever. Yeah, it's pretty bad, man. But yeah, mine's definitely. Dude, I hate when people come in here and try to, like, like when they're. If they're like tried on, okay, because we allow try ons in store. And if they're like tried on, and in the, I honestly, I always like when they like I, they're honest with me and I tried them on inside. But there's dudes that will literally come to me with mud on their shoes, like clearly worn, creased. Oh yeah, no, I just wore them inside the house. Like, bro, come on, like. And there's rocks <laughs> stuck. Yeah, like rocks in like stuck inside the, the bottom, like clearly worn, like that. I hate when people like try to, try to like try to pass. Like, I'm not born yesterday, dude. I've been doing this for years, man. I know, I, I know what a used shoe looks like. So like that 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 is my, definitely a bit peeve of mine. Like, and I'll be like, really, you never wore these ever? And they're like, yeah, no, never wore them. Never even took them out of the box. I'm like, wow, wow. <laughs> that is crazy. The FedEx delivery driver did you dirty then, man. Whenever he came to deliver, <laughs> he wore them and then put them back in. That I really hate that. That's Nike really Air is fading off. Yeah, like they're clearly worn. <laughs> like it, I've seen that happen before, where someone's like, "Yeah, these are completely dead stock." And, the Nike Air is completely and I'm like, "Dude, like the Nike Air is missing the air." Yeah, like on the insole. Like yeah, it's, it's gone. super annoying. I. And if, the, if you, I mean, if the shoe's really clean, you tell me that, okay. I mean, that's another thing. But like when they're obviously, and you didn't even try, like, come on. Yeah. Like, I don't know. That that really bothers me. I hate when people try to like do that. I, yeah, I mean, there's this shoe, for example, because like the foam bottom, like I try, I, the pair I sold Matt, I tried it on to see how it fits. I took, yeah. walked in front of the mirror and Matt's like, did you try this on? I'm like, yeah, just to look in the mirror. Yeah, it's like, like a little bit creased on the. It's phone. just like a tiny care. little crease. That I don't like, care about. Whatever, but like that. No, like when they're obviously worn out, it does really annoy me. Uh, next one. Let me see. Next one. This is a good one. Uh, what's a good sneaker to start out for someone that just just starting their collections? Like a good like versatile, I guess affordable sneakerhead classic shoe that you can't go wrong with to start a collection off. What do y'all think? You want me to go? Sure, go for it. I'd say reimagine threes. Those are super low right now, and that's a yeah. classic colorway. Great took, right, took the words right out of my mouth. That's stuff for low. I was going with that too. Um, I'll throw a couple more out there just because I don't want to say the same thing. But yeah, reimagine three. Uh, great pair. Wear them with literally anything forever. Classic colorway. Uh, that shoe will never go out of style. In my opinion, the second best Air Jordan three of all time behind the Almaneer. Um, but um. Yeah, man, great pair, and yeah, they're like two sixty right now, dude. Like, Super we low. have them in here for three hundred. Like, get a pair, great shoe. Even better if you're like a GS size, and it's probably a kid commenting that, like, starting out their collection. If you're like a size seven, dude, they're like one seventy. Scoop them. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Real. Frag three, kind of similar, same along those lines. Mm -hmm. Very wearable, cheap. Um, look, looking at the shelf right now. It's another good one. The neutral gray ones are very low right now too, for whatever reason. They've gone down. Almost all ones have gone down. UNC but toes. UNC <sighs> toes. It's a good colorway. It's a good colorway. I or the pine green one. See, but like if I'm if I'm recommending a pair, it's gonna be an OG colorway, personally. Like if I'm recommending a pair to what start out your collection fire with. Fire red threes. That's another really good one. Those are really cheap. Those are like two hundred bucks. Fire red threes, neutral grays. Low key the black toe or the black toe lows that just came out today. Mm -hmm. Not a bad pair at all. Um solid. Definitely gonna go for really cheap, and you can definitely get those for under two hundred bucks, and wear them again. Literally anything yeah. forever. Jordan One Low, timeless. Just a few other out there. You got uh, I I think for me, just looking at at the wall, a shoe that I have I've 
do not understand why it's so cheap is the um, the San Francisco Huff Dunk. Are you going to say that? They're literally <laughs> in my size 12, which is normally like one of the money sizes. It's like $180. It's a good one. Like it's super cheap. It's a great shoe. It's, it's an can SP. literally be worn with anything in your closet because it's black and white. It's better materials than a panda. Um, or on it, or more comfortable honestly, than a panda. More a comfortable than a panda. Um, or if you just want to get like, if you want an SB, and maybe you're not a fan of that one, like the white gum or the black gum. Yeah, let's get to the point where those are kind of not sitting at skate shops, but if there's a skate shop by you, just they might be in there. Just yeah. go stop by. Like they're yeah. That's what that, that's how I got my uh my white gum, and my black gum. Literally just over lunch, I was like, I'm just gonna swing by the skate shop real quick. And sure enough, they're just sitting there. Yeah, so. there there is no reason that you should be buying a panda over a huff, especially with the huff going for like literally fifty dollars more. Because yeah. pandas are at like one thirty, one forty right now. Like, bro, just get a huff. They're like yeah, $50 spend a couple more bucks. The huff, it's way better quality, and you can if you want to, you can cut yeah, out the got panel, that customizable and have the tie dye. Option. Like, I love those huff. I have two pair, and um, get you. I just I love those shoes. That's a really good one. You got any roll? I was going to say probably the Teddy Santis 990s. That's a good V3. one, too. Yeah. They're like, really, any of the colorways yeah. are, so, are yeah, like, they're solid. Yeah. 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 The comfort and style. Those are good, too. Yeah. yeah. Or even just timeless. An OG gray New, New Balance, Balance yeah. like a yeah. 993 or a 990 V3, V4. Like, I know it's kind of like yeah. the dad shoe now, but I mean, two of us here are wearing New Balance right now. And honestly, dude, these are, <laughs> I used to like, Five years ago, if you'd have told me I'd been in the New Balance, I was like, "Dude, there's no way." Like me those too, shoes man. are that whack. This crazy. and that. Yeah, me too. And now these like the the two New Balance that I own or three are like my favorite shoes in my collection because I can know I can wear this shoe all day, every day, and it's still gonna be comfortable. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, just the New Balance. This is a whole other topic, but New Balance has got has done, I think, the perfect like marketing push into the sneakerhead culture you know what i mean the, the, collabs, the collabs are all perfect, been spot great on, quality spot on like i think they've I, I whoever is like running their like streetwear kind of yeah uh marketing we can go into that next yeah episode. i mean that's a good topic for next episode but they have i mean they have knocked the quality of the collabs out of the park and the collabs i the think the teddy stuff great, great great fresh goods down action down. bronson salehi the Jown. Yeah, great stuff, man. They were sitting in L.A. when I went in Kith. Which ones? The purple ones. The remember I said the yeah picture? the 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 cream and purple ones. Yeah, it's the Teddy Santos. Yeah, not an official Teddy. Well, I think I it guess is. it is an official Teddy yeah. Santos one because he, he designed it. But yeah, a lot Those of the uh, clean, a lot of the ALD there. stuff right now sitting too are oh, like yeah. going for retail. The like the like the ninety or nine. Oh God, I confuse sometimes. The nineteen oh sixes, I think. Nineteen oh six, and then there's like the eight sixty v two. Eight sixty v two. Eight sixty v two. We have two pairs of them here. I think they're like two twenty or two fifty. Like good pairs too. Good, yeah. Good colorways, yeah. easy to wear, comfortable as hell. Yeah. And they're not. If you're patient enough, a lot of these hype New Balances aren't going to be too hard to get because yeah. the ALD yeah. ones that they. Those were on pre-order for like three or four days. Yep. Now you're not going to get them for six months, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God, dude, that but, was a little but, crazy. They're there. No, yeah, they're there for retail. Yeah. Retail's cheap. Yeah, yeah, that or just be on the hunt for a used pair or a lightly used pair. Obviously, you don't want to like make dumb decisions financially to start a collection or yep, have a collection. Absolutely. But I mean, you get. I'm not opposed to copying a used pair. You know, absolutely not, man. I I, I <laughs> love used pairs, man. I if I can find a used pair. As long as it's clean, because I don't, I don't, I don't like anything beat. But if I can find it used, I will buy that ten out of ten times compared to the DS pair, dude. I mean, ten yeah. out of ten, right? I mean, yeah, hundred percent. There's no time while I'm gonna be like, oh, I want the DS pair. I'm too good yeah, for that. Used I think stuff. it's kind of weird when people come in and yeah, yeah dude, I always like, find it so used. weird. So I was like, <laughs> they're like, ugh. I'm like, oh, what's wrong? Sometimes with that? we'll literally we'll have a used eleven. And a DS eleven. One hundred and fifty dollars cheaper. Like, and they'll take the DS. The DS. And we'll tell them there's a. We have this pair. It's like literally probably worn once. They're one hundred fifty dollars cheaper. Now I want the new pair. Hey man, hey. teach their own. Hey, I'm not knocking anybody that does it, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess I kind of get it because it's yeah. a little gross. I guess not really. I mean, most of these shoes they're coming from sneakerheads that take really good care of their shoes. Yeah. So it's not really that gross. I mean, it's a little bit different than going and buying a shoe, a used pair of shoes at Goodwill. You know what I mean? Um, but it's not used underwear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like they're <laughs> they're clean, bro. Like people aren't destroying them. And obviously, we we always talk about we don't we have a line we don't cross with the used yeah, stuff. Most of these are worn only a couple. Times. I mean, literally clean, man. And you're gonna save yourself hundreds and hundreds. I cannot tell you. I've literally probably 
I mean, obviously my collection is huge now, but I've probably saved thousands and thousands of dollars buying used, man. Like thousands of dollars. Like and that's one tip I do have for starting a collection. If you are cool with it, buy them used, man. I, I, I promise you in the long run, you're going to look back at it and you're going to be like, wow, thank God I did. Because I mean, just, just the amount of more pairs I've been able to get because I've saved so much money on those on purchasing those used pairs is insane, dude. Like, yep. right? Well, I don't know about you guys, but it's tough for me to undies a pair. Yeah, like, that too. I'll, like, I'll that get a too. shoe and I'll be so like even these. Like, I knew I was gonna wear th- when I ordered them off of eBay. I was like, yep, I'm gonna wear these on the Quick, pod, yeah. this and that. And then they came in yesterday or something, and I, they just sat there, and I was like, <sighs> yeah, I was. I wanted to wear them like when I went to go like run errands and stuff, and I was like, <sighs> I can't, I can't do it. And then I literally undies them right before I got in my car. Like it, it's for me, it's tough to undies. No, a it pair. definitely is, and you know, it's just kind of it's, it's because. I mean, as much as we are, like, for, like, just wearing your shoes and stuff, I mean, it really is, like, I mean, you're taking away the value. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just straight up. But I mean, once, for me, once I've undiessed them, I'll wear this shoe four or five days. No, 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 absolutely. I don't care. Run them through yeah. the, the ringer. But, yeah, use, use is definitely another way to go. Another thing I really um, want to recommend for anyone that's starting a senior collection, quality over quantity, man. Yep. You don't have to have the most pairs. It'll get there if you collect long enough. I've been collecting for, like, eight years, and obviously my collection's huge, but, like, Three years ago, I had 20 pairs, you know what I mean? But 20, like, really good pairs. Like, yeah. four or five years ago, I had, you know, I had 10, 15 pairs. But, like, really, 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 really good pairs. And that's why I always say it's not worth buying a bunch of eh, shoes just to have a bunch of shoes. You know what I mean? You don't yeah. need that many shoes to have a good rotation. Yeah. Yeah. You, and it's, you didn't need those almond um, manure ones. I didn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's but it, but it's, it, I agree with you. But, like, instead of buying the pine greens and the UNC toes and spending – retail plus tax and everything like 400 bucks for those like instead of buying both of those what if you just come to the vault and buy lost and found yeah it's like a way better shoe you're only gonna have one compared to the two but like yeah but the, okay. the quality of that one versus the two is just yeah the colorway the way the better. history everything yeah yeah quality over quantity you have any tips for the youngsters getting into it i pretty much got them all man yeah yeah i don't know really <laughs> anything else honestly you gotta buy, buy used man you can get some steals on used pairs man like crazy crazy the used market's so different, a lot of people don't understand it. So, I mean, you can, yeah, if you search out there, man, you can find them, yeah. Because, I mean, obviously, stock action, goat, and stadium goods, a flight club, you have that in the palm of your hands for a new pair, but for a used pair, it's a little a lot harder to gauge. So, I mean, people sometimes just they don't know a lot of people just think their shoes are worthless when they're used, which is kind of yeah, crazy to think, too. But, yeah, that was a good question. Um, anyone starting out the club, uh, starting out your collections, I hope, uh. Hope that helped. Let me see. Uh, last co- question. And guys, please ask us questions, guys. Ask us questions for the next pod. Um, helps us a lot. Helps us a lot. We uh, got a lot of comments in the last pod, but a little bit less questions. We need more of them. The first couple pods, we got a ton of questions. But this one, this last one, we still got just as many comments as we did in the other ones. But you guys forgot to ask the questions, man. I don't know if we said to like ask the questions in the last that, one. Maybe I mean, that's forgot. why we started the pod to engage with. Yeah, to engage bodies. with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, make sure you guys are asking us questions. We're always trying to answer them. We like to, you know, talk to y'all and. It's interesting. Yeah, you know, we feel more connected to y'all. So uh, <laughs> definitely ask us questions, guys. Don't be afraid. We'll pick a couple more of them. Uh, one more. We'll go Javi, Javier, uh, OG here at the shop. He's been uh been a day one uh he asked what would we be doing if we weren't doing like the, the shop what would we be doing you can go first because you don't even work here so <laughs> i'd be doing I'm what sure. i'm doing right now yeah. <laughs> um yeah what do you do daniel go ahead go ahead um, <laughs> i do i work in um risk management for an airline in the dfw area cool I'll just say that that's very interesting daniel yeah if I wasn't doing that, I would... Uh, yeah, what would you do if you weren't doing that? I don't really know, man. I would try and get a job at, like... My uncle used to work for Nike, so maybe I can, like, leverage that relationship to maybe get a job at up in Beaverton. I don't know what I'd be doing. We're going to be a dope place to live, but, man. Yeah. For we're sure. going to be cool. The one thing I have heard about Nike is that they don't pay well. Really? Yeah. Wow. So many people want to work there. They don't really have to pay. That is actually yeah. true. High, you know? yeah. It makes sense. Also. But their discounts are crazy, dude. Like, it's like 50 like or 60%, 60 percent yeah. off, dude. Like so, crazy. I don't know. Like, maybe get a job at Nike. or It probably pays off just from that, man. Work at Apple. I don't know. One of those two. Yeah. I turned down a job with the Cowboys because the pay was just a joke. 
Yeah, but but right. same thing as with Nike. Yeah. There's probably other like five of the guys lined That's up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, they exactly. don't have to be. Yeah, they don't have to. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It's a, it's an opportunity for a lot, like a crazy opportunity for a lot of people. They yeah. don't care about the money. They just want to. Yeah. Yeah. Make a lot of connections and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Probably how some people see it, but networking. I get what you're, I get what you're doing. Networking, dude. Hey, yeah, man, I network on my own, brother. <laughs> <laughs> don't say stagnant. Always moving. <laughs> what about you? Uh, probably just going to school or maybe, uh, something, something in, uh, soccer or something. I used to play soccer a lot. So, uh, maybe something Big soccer guy, like, like maybe coaching or something, something like that. Something along those lines. <laughs> a day may see him. Appreciate that, Eric. <laughs> it is true though. Dude, you were cold. Logan was cold at soccer, man. I, uh, I was, I had a, I had a good era, man. I had a good run. Weren't you like MVP one time? But I, uh, I hung up the cleats, man. I hung them up. Could have had a Logan Robin jersey on right now. He had the he bro he it was the biggest flex. You had the um the the flame CR sevens on the flames on them. I did. That was crazy, dude. I was, Total flex. Those were actually crazy back <laughs> in the day. I don't know if anyone remembers those. <laughs> well, have to dude. They were they were tough. If I was a soccer player to this day, I would wear those. They were expensive. for real. Yes. Can you find a picture and throw? Yeah, those I'll were dope. It was really just a cleats with black. But those cleats were like four hundred bucks, weren't they? Cleats. Yeah, they were. Yeah, dude. Man, I was Jeremy cashed out on that one. I had the best cleats on the fucking pitch. Shout out, <laughs> Mr. Jeremy, man. <laughs> those were dope, dude. Yeah. Those were tough. Uh me. <laughs> yeah, I guess just going to school too. Probably finishing out school. Um after school. Probably helping my dad. He has furniture, so I'd probably be doing furniture. Wouldn't have been the worst route, but definitely happy with where everything worked out, man. I love I love what I love what I do, man. This is my passion. I love sneakers and streetwear. So, uh, yeah, man. Glad everything worked out. Definitely did not love school, right? Holy <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Awful. Man. We're not like the biggest party people or anything. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, you are. You, yeah, you, 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 uh, Oklahoma you, State, man. You had a, you had to go, go Cowboys, right? Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> first two years grade wise were a little rough because of, uh, <laughs> the extracurricular activities. Yeah. But, uh, Got my act together when it came for <laughs> you and, De- you and Des Bryant were like this, right? What was that? You and Des Bryant were like this, right? <laughs> I had lunch with him my freshman <laughs> year before he got suspended. Um, Des is pretty cool. Justin Blackman, all I those met him. guys. He's a cool dude. He's, he's really yeah, cool. He's, Des is cool. We met him. Cool. Yeah, we met him together. Yeah. So, but <laughs> yeah, he's a cool yeah, dude. it's a good times. But I got my act together. It's definitely, I, yeah, we can go on about it. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, man, me, me and Logan aren't like the biggest like party people so we didn't have like the college experience that everyone like raves about you no, know what i mean it was a fucking movie dude <laughs> no it was not it was terrible <laughs> the movie nights at their apartment with the popcorn and that the was one of the best parts of it i mean honestly <laughs> yeah, honestly that's a movie we right don't there. do that we, we don't went during covid and stuff so even if we wanted to go to parties yeah there, we went during, we during COVID, covid and i mean literally you'd walk on campus we'd be the only two people walking yeah you know, dude it's literally like the only town. two people walking on campus yeah it was dead it was a fucking graveyard yeah, it was so, it was horrible, man. But even if it wasn't COVID, it, there, we did go a semester where it was COVID. Was, it just, it wasn't it just COVID. felt like high school English again. I was like, all right, you know what? It sucked, man. I think I think I'll hold off. Yeah, it's not for everyone. You know what I mean? I don't think it, nowadays you, not everyone needs it. It's not for everyone. I'll save my money. I think it's expensive too, man. God damn, it's very expensive. Yep, adds up. But yeah, I think we talked about everything. Good pod. Where are we at right now? Are we at a good good amount? We're about an hour and 20 minutes almost. Okay. You think well, after? The- yeah, a little less than that, but. Yeah. Think, think we're good? We're, think we're good. All right. Well. <laughs> Utopia <laughs> took forever. <laughs> obviously, we're going to talk about Utopia, man. Obviously. Yeah, come on. It's Glad we got like that the biggest there. team captain of the Glazers here. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Starting the whole game. Just a donut pin. Get <laughs> some stickers on my helmet. <laughs> I'm doing whatever you want. Um, let us know in the comments what you guys thought about Utopia. Don't let us know if it's anything negative. I don't want to hear it. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, please ask us some questions, guys. We need more questions next video. Uh, again, we, we'll probably answer them. If we get if we get some more if we get like more questions we'll answer more um, but yeah three we're doing three per video but if we get like a ton and they're good ones we'll answer a few more next episode but appreciate you guys for stopping by locked in podcast episode five it's been fun it's been real like comment subscribe and uh, see y'all in the next one guys later. <laughs>